Shabbat Shalom. This Shabbat we begin a new Sefer, a new book of the Torah, Sefer Bamibar, the book of Numbers. But even though Bamibar literally means in the wilderness, the English name of the book is Numbers because this week's Parsha begins with a census, with a taking an account of every male from every family and every tribe by name. 20 years old and older. Why? Because the Israelites in the wilderness needed to know how large of a standing army they would be able to have. This is, to my knowledge, the first example of a citizen army in the history of the world. This is not an army made up of mercenaries, it's not a volunteer army, it's a draft. And everyone in every family must send their young, 20 years old and above, to fight. And that begs a particular question of Israelite history. And the question simply is, why an army? Why would they need to have a fighting machine at all? After all, did they just come from Egypt? They didn't have an army in Egypt, and they stood up to the greatest military power in the world at the time. It was God who brought the plagues. It was God who split the sea so that the Israelites could walk on the dry land. It was God who caused the water to submerge the Egyptian charioteers and drown them. Why do they need an army? And this, perhaps, is one of the most profound lessons in all of Bamidbar. Because in Egypt, Israel was completely dependent upon God. And as we move from the dependence of slavery and dependence on God for our sustenance, we are preparing to enter the Promised Land, Eretz Israel. Where, the rabbis tell us, Ein somchin alanes. We cannot rely on miracles. Yes, God could fight every battle for us and certainly win. But God isn't going to. We have to fight our own battles. We have to risk becoming scarred, injured, or worse. We have to take responsibility for our own security and for solving our own problems. That, I think, is the lesson of this census. And so when you hear the census being read in synagogue, let's hope that your eyes don't glaze over, because it is pretty tedious. But understand the full impact of what this means. We have many battles in our lives. There are things we have to stand up for. We cannot rely on God to fix our problems, to fight our battles, to heal the world. We have responsibilities of our own to fight with God, not alone, but certainly not to be dependent upon God to make things right. So let's do our own accounting. Think of when we have to pick up our own metaphoric arms, stand up for ourselves, bring into the world that which we believe is right, and to create a society founded on justice and mercy and kindness. Those are things certainly worth fighting for. Shabbat Shalom. May you have a Zisan Shabbos, and I'll see you in Shulam.